In 2016, several features of what would be considered modern case design became standard, can't live without fare. What happens when a manufacturer forges its own path and releases a case that redefines what it means to be small? Let's take a look at the Enermax Steel Wing Small Form Factor Chassis. I got my first in-person look at the Steel Wing at CES this year at the Enermax booth. It wasn't being prominently featured as it had been released several months prior to that event, but it still caught my eye as components made entirely of aluminum and glass tend to do. That's right, in a hefty dash of irony, the Steel Wind case is made entirely of aluminum. However, this is a really smart implementation of aluminum over steel, as the materials used here are thick sandblasted and anodized pieces fitted with a tempered glass window. The use of steel panels here would be clunky and heavy. As this does not aim to be a silent case, the reduction in sound dampening you might get with steel is not a factor. Enermax gives you two color options with the steel wing, an NVIDIA-inspired shade of green, along with a red that unfortunately has a bit of a purple tone to it. This means that it won't match your existing red components, although with every product in existence now being offered with RGB LEDs, I'm sure replicating this color tone won't be much of an issue. Holding on both side panels are easily grippable thumb screws, although there is no rubber padding between the glass and the case, so be cautious not to over tighten. The glass itself is a 3mm thick piece of material with a moderate tint to it. It will certainly not obscure your view of the interior, but be mindful that this is not a purely clear window like that found in the S340 Elite. Being 3mm thick is also slightly under the industry average of 4mm, with some case companies now choosing to go with 5mm panels for safety. The thinness of the material should ultimately prove not to be an issue, as the panel is so small it won't really have to withstand any significant flex. There's a neat and unobtrusive steel wing logo etched into the bottom corner. The front panel of the case has eight separate aluminum fins that are specifically designed to act like a radiator for some measure of passive cooling. Aluminum is much better at conducting heat than steel, and as such cases made of aluminum are better at acting like heat sinks. The front panel I.O. is as simple as you might expect on a tiny case like this, with only a prominent power button, two USB 3.0, and audio jacks available. The top of the chassis is relatively bare and does not afford you the option to mount any kind of a case fan. The small filtered opening is for passive exhaust only, but you'll soon see why this was a necessary design choice. The back panel has mounting points for your I.O. cover, SFX power supply, and three expansion slots. The case will fit a micro ATX motherboard, so technically it is possible to run an SLI configuration if you have some really slim graphics cards. On the bottom of the case, we can see the four rubber feet and holes for your storage mounting options. We can also see how the front panel fins wrap around to the bottom. Taking a closer look at the interior of the steel wing reveals more of the design choices that make this case unique. There is no separate motherboard tray, and in a way this is a throwback to the way cases used to be built. The motherboard mounts directly to the rear wall of the case, which may be questionable to some, but was actually done in the interest of size reduction. Similarly, there is no power supply shroud to hide things under. The 2.5 and 3.5 inch drive bays are screwed directly to the floor underneath the motherboard mounting points. Your cable management skills better be on point if you intend on building in here, as there is literally nowhere to hide sloppy wiring. The one place in the steel wing to mount a fan comes pre-populated with a colored Enermax unit of corresponding color to your chosen case. Putting some components in here makes it immediately apparent just how tight of a space we're dealing with. Although mounting options for a micro ATX motherboard are available, I built my test system with a mini ITX board for scale reasons. As you can see that although there is a portion of the back wall that is unused, don't forget that there are no cables yet running from the power supply, we have no storage installed, and the front panel wiring is just temporarily relocated for better viewing. That empty rear wall space could technically be utilized for mounting water cooling equipment, and in doing research on this case, I actually ran across a builder who was bold enough to build a custom loop in here. Keep in mind, however, that the only mounting point for a radiator is that single 120 millimeter fan space at the front. The interior configuration does allow you the option of mounting full length graphics cards up to 290 millimeters in length. And this is the one area that I think people will be pleased not to have to compromise. The Enermax Steel Wing is a very interesting micro ATX enabled option for those space conscious consumers. It's without a doubt the smallest windowed MATX case I've ever seen, and it competes for the title of smallest ITX case as well, with only the EVGA Hadron coming in with smaller dimensions. The aluminum frame makes it light and portable, and it would make for an excellent, attention grabbing land box for your next gathering. I'm Brian with BPS Customs. Get subscribed to the channel, hit that like button, and as always, thanks for watching.